Thanks for joining us. My name is Ian Cameron and I'm the Marketing Director at Meech International. Today we're going to talk a bit about the uh, new Meech Cycling R web cleaner, uh, which is an extension to the popular cycling range that Meech have been selling for a number of years. Uh, it's a non-contact web cleaning system specifically designed for webs running at low tension. Uh, I'm joined by Donald Lewis, uh, Business Development Manager for Systems, David Hyde, our R&D Product Design Manager, and uh, Michelle Takas, the Sales Manager in France. David, uh, perhaps we could start off by giving us some background on the Cycling R, um, how it was developed, how, how it differs from the standard Cycling and other web cleaners, uh, both contact and non-contact that are available today. Sure, so the current range of web cleaning is, uh, is pretty large. Um, and we have one obviously called the Cycling, which is in, is introduced slightly. Um, it was absolutely brilliant cleaner, works really well, but normally you need quite a high level of tension. So we found in the market, we've had a few sample webs come with requiring a much lower tension. We've set up on our test system and we find it doesn't run through the cycling particularly well due to the low tension and the air buffeting the web around. So we had a little think, how can we possibly introduce tension into a web without any tension? Um, and we quickly realized, obviously, as a web goes around a roller, you've got a lovely surface that it sits against so you can blow and suck as much air as you need to at the web to be able to clean it off. So that's basically where the design came from and how we progressed it through into what we ha now have. So um, I understand the site canar is available in several different configurations. Perhaps you could talk us a little about what's available and how the designs differ. Yep, so similar to the standard cycling, we have the manual opening, the pneumatic opening versions, and we found a real a market requirement for a much longer uh, cleaner, so over a wider web width. So generally over for the standard cycling, anything over about 1200 to 1400 millimeters long, we had to have lots of ducting going to the cycling, causing quite a few issues in some installations. Um, so we developed what we call the carapace system, which is basically uh, a over-the-top piece of extrusion, which fits onto the CCR, which allows a much bigger ducting to be fed into the ends and evenly distributed along the length of the CCR. Um, this is also available for the cycling, but we've developed it solely, mainly for the CCR. Um, so that comes only over 1300 millimeters long. You can buy it for smaller webs if you need to, but generally due to the size of the additional size, um, you don't really want to be using it for smaller webs. So on the standard smaller web sizes, we have a, a manual opening system, uh, which is obviously the, I think the cheapest of the range. Then we have the pneumatic opening, which can be integrated into the, the web line, into, into the system to allow for opening and closing along with the web feed. And there's also a pneumatic rotating mechanism, which instead of just moving straight up and down, rotates so if you have a much smaller access area and you only have a very small amount of space around the roller you can have something that only just rotates off of the roller to allow the web to be fed through um, these are the main main differences between the all the different heads uh, these are the options we currently have available uh, the main difference between the standard cycling and the ccr being this carapace uh, which is obviously very beneficial to people not wanting 36 pieces of 40 mil ducting feeding the heads okay Okay, right. Um, Donald, um, David's talked a bit about the development of the site clean and how it's used on low tension webs. Um, but in like, practical terms, what issues do we typically see on webs with rollers? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, David alluded to the fact that um, our standard site clean, double sided standard product um, <clears throat> relies on quite high or, or reasonable tensions of webs to maintain a good cleaning level at non-contact. Um, the fact that uh, running webs around a roller gives us, <clears throat> yeah, gives us gives us lots of advantages really. Um, the other point really being that um, the the industry in these challenging areas of, of, of non-contact cleaning with lower tensions and wider webs. <clears throat> um, they, they need very specific levels of cleaning. So uh, being able to do that with higher hair flows and being able to apply the, the cleaning technology onto the surface of the roller <clears throat> makes, a, makes a significant difference. Um, but also 
what we're also benefiting is the fact that we can use higher levels of, of airflow, uh, which means that we're directing higher levels of airflow onto the surface, breaking contamination away much easier and taking that away and containing it easier. So, um, yeah, the challenges are really the, the fact that non-contact in low tension is across across the whole of the web cleaning industry is is, is the major is a major issue really, um, and those are predominantly in new marketplaces or newer marketplaces, uh, which we can perhaps touch on a little bit later. Mm. Okay, and Michel, I assume this is a similar story in the French market, similar problems and issues. Yes, uh, um, the big big advantage what I can see about uh, the cycling air. It's a very, very compact head, and it can be integrated quite well uh, in every different machinery uh, with uh, low cost of uh, adaptation, uh, montage, or parts. And of course, the, the big benefits is the non-contact web cleaning. Um, few customers also in the special industry or special high I um, quality uh, label are using example this kind of product and um, that replace of course and uh, contact cleaning what is not efficient for this kind of market and we are our customer is 100 percent satisfied about our system and that can be a very big opportunity during time in France not sure because integration it's quite easy we have also a uh, Hyperion um, anti-static bar in the front and the back after the web. And that's very, very easy to integrate the whole system in some different machinery. Okay, thank you. Um, David, perhaps you could talk us a little about uh, what's included in the cycling R system, um, in particular, how it's utilized with the new mini AHU um, to benefit narrow web applications where end users may have historically been using tacky roller cleaners, for example. Sure. So uh, obviously with the tacky roller cleaning system, it's a very effective cleaning system where we obviously have the tack clean that we sell. Um, but with that comes the issues of having to have uh, consumables such as the, the tacky paper. And, you know, you have to do, you have to take care of it. So the issue you have with that is that there's obviously cost with the consumables. With our new low tension cycling and how small and compact it is, as, as Michelle was talking about, um, it can fit in the same space as the tacky roller system. In fact, probably a smaller space. Um, and with that, we thought, you know what? We have a two pump AHU, we have a six pump AHU and a three pump. These are all quite big units. You know, they're not, they're not easily put right next to where the cleaning is happening. And quite often they're put behind the machines or at one end, which means a lot of ducting has to be run all over the place. Um, so whilst doing the fluid dynamics on the cycling and understanding how much air it uses, what volume of air we have to use, you know, how it's utilized, what pressures we have to be running these systems at. We we're able to develop the mini HU, which is basically a one pump system. So it's very similar to the rest of our rest of our systems. It's touch screen controlled, has all the benefits of all the normal HUs with the filter bags, um, but it's very compact. It's a lot smaller. It can fit, it can, it can, it's able to be wall mounted. So literally where you have the low tension cleaner, you know, if it's up to about 600 mil wide, we, we, we tend to say use a one pump HU you can mount the one pump either on the back of the machine or on the front of the machine right next to the cleaner. So you can access it, use a touch screen to change the pressures if you need to, uh, and all those, all those benefits really. And you don't have the consumable of tacky paper all the time. Mm. You only have the power, obviously we power the air as you normally would with a, with a, this is only a single phase supply as well, because you only have one pump. Um, there's two variations of the mini AHU. Obviously with all of our pneumatic options for the, C, for the CCR, how you open it, we've integrated the pneumatic box, which is normally a separate item, into the mini air tube. So you're able to have all your button controls of your opening, your closing, uh, everything done from the mini air tube now, instead of having a separate pneumatics box, which means the mini air tube, you power it with a single phase supply, a pneumatic airline, and everything can be done from the mini air tube. And as Michelle alluded to earlier, obviously the CCR comes with our DC technology, our 924 IPS bars, which are very effective. These bars can also be powered from the mini air tube. So there is no longer requirement for an additional 24 volt power supply to power the bars, anything like that. You get your pneumatic feed and both your bar powering feeds all from the mini air tube. So it makes everything as compact as it can possibly be. 
which is one of the reasons we developed it. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Um, I mean, Donald, we were talking, and you had, I think, talked about it, started to talk about it a bit earlier. Um, but when we're talking about site clean R applications, uh, what markets are we suggesting would benefit most from the kind of site clean R and the mini AHU together? Um, in relation to the mini AHU, we are predominantly focused, I think, in the narrow web industry, whether that be narrow web for label production or packaging. Um, Again, um, the mini HU is, is, is linked with narrower webs. <clears throat> um, when we talk about cycling R in general, um, we are obviously we're obviously now looking at areas where we um, where we traditionally have yeah uh, have, have had more challenges in relation to retention of the web. So, uh, for instance, one of the most recent, more recent applications. And industries is the, is the battery manufacturing, the automotive battery manufacturing world, where we are, we're now focusing on cleaning uh, the anode and cathode manufacturing sections, and the coating lines, um, battery separator film is a key is a key area of that production, uh, which needs accurate cleaning, uh, and again is is predominantly produced, slit and coated in, in quite low tension um, situations. Um, then when we when you're looking at other areas of, of sort of the electronics the um, high high-end film production for lcd film uh, lcd displays um, all those areas are basically sections which are sections of industries where we have um, high-end product needing a, a, a high-end quality of, of, of production um, and cycling all really lends itself in those areas, maintaining the non-contact cleaning process um, and totally eliminating any need for, for interaction with whether the web be low tension, high tension, or even whether it varies through production. Uh, quite a lot of industries um, will, would give us uh, historically a range of tension options that they have. So they may have 30 or 40% of their production is quite high tension, uh, and yet other elements of, of production or films that they're making, for instance, um, would need very low tension. So they were, they were balancing acts in other uh, cleaning methods to try to accommodate that. Cycling or eliminates all those issues. Uh, we have no interest in, to some extent, in what that tension is because we're cleaning around the roller surface. Uh, much more simple. Okay, good. Um, I mean, following on, Michelle, from what Donald has said relating to markets, perhaps you could talk us uh, through a bit about some of the key features and the benefits of the system as you see it and how that's going to kind of work in, in the area you work in. I totally agree, first of all, uh, uh, about what uh, Donald said. Um, another point, uh, we have a non-stop web cleaning system. And that's something also, it's very interesting because if you are using some other system, like a tacky roll, you, you need always to stop the machineries, to stop your production, to exchange this kind of roll. And with our system, with the aspiration and the, the vacuum, yes, we can see also during time what we, we output for the web. And we are quite well surprised about the benefits of our product. And that's, uh, I'm totally agree about the Donald. Donald say, uh, everything regarding this, that that's one big benefit. It's a non-stop web cleaning system. Okay. And have you got any um, other kind of experiences about low tension rollers you wanna you wanna tell us about? No, about low tension roller, it's not so much in. Um, I, I mean, in a narrow web industry, it's more in the wide web where we can see uh, uh, this kind of uh, trouble where we cannot apply so much on the web, uh, so much tension on the web. And um, for me, I, I think also in France, it is so much also to do in a, in a narrow web than a white web. Um, I think uh, sometime, um, okay, today the people is coming more, they get more interest about the pollution contamination regarding the world, what we are living today. But um, the reaction is not so, um, so high that what we can respect mm. after when you test when you run you will realize 
yes, that's a big benefit. Before, if you not do it, you don't know about it. Okay, perfect. Well, look, thank you very much, everyone. I think that's given some really useful background to the site clean R and low tension web cleaning. Um, just leaves me to say that the new cycling hour is available now and more information can be found from our website which is www.meet.com where you can also get all the information on all the other web cleaners and the whole range that we, we sell. So thank you to Donald, David and Michelle for sparing some time to talk to me um, and thank you everybody for watching. Um, we look forward to hearing from you soon.